Hello everyone, this is Alexandre again from Rana Studio. Uh, I want to show you in this video how to uh, to play and use uh, the Raycast node in uh, Bifrost. Uh, you can use it in many ways, but uh, I'm going to show you one way I, I really like to use it. It's uh, for uh, like, uh, if you s you watched uh, my previous video on the tire rig, the, the, this is uh, one way to use it and also the recast uh, facial rig uh, is uh, is used this way so I'm gonna show you right away first of all just create a um, bifrost graph here I'm gonna try to put it here is there a way to no Panel. Mm. Okay. Just gonna create a graph here. And now I'm just gonna show you with uh, something like a plane, maybe. Plane here. And we're gonna use a um, tool locator. So one is gonna be the Raycast source, and uh, the other one will be the Raycast um, hit that's gonna follow the source uh, position, but will slide uh, along uh, over the surface of the of the plane. So we can uh, maybe scale uh, this plane uh, bigger and put the source here I'm gonna call it the uh, source lock and this one is gonna be hit lock and uh, uh, surface geo all right we all we have all uh, our elements so let's start First, uh, we can bring this geo in the Bifrost graph by a middle click and drag and drop here. And to bring uh, the position of these um, locator, we need to open the node editor. In the node editor, uh, what we can do is um, select the Bifrost graph and uh, show a uh, what is connected to it so right now you see the geo that we bring in the bifrost graph we see that he is connected to to our bifrost shape we can hide those two we don't really need that so we have this and then I'm gonna bring the two locator here just press the plus sign here I'm gonna hide the shape and the source would be here and the hit here so yeah we have to work yeah, a bit with the node editor in parallel with the Bifrost graph because uh, we need to to bring those translate information in the Bifrost graph but we cannot drag it in the directly here we need to connect it somewhere so we're gonna create um, a connection here because input we have nothing so let's add a value node uh, in this value node we're gonna put the type of this value to um, a vector tree so a x y and z uh, and we're gonna connect that here so now if you see the value here we can rename it uh, source lock pause so it's gonna be the position of the location uh, locator that is the source and now we see it happier here source lock pause so we can plug in the source lock translation here and now we have the information that we can play with and the output 
uh, is gonna be um, we can uh, also get a value node here and put it to vector tree and we connect to it we can delete it and rename um, hit lock pause so it's gonna be the position of the hit locator and we can give this information to the, the translation of our hit locator so uh, hit lock pause here there you go and we don't need this node editor anymore don't worry we're gonna play only in this graph editor so right now nothing happened because we just bring a value nothing happened and there is an output here so we had to add something in between to make the magic happen so right now if we play with this nothing happened so let's get the the raycast get raycast location here so we get the raycast uh, the raycast location would be at the surface geo here the direction is um, first we're gonna have the position this is the lock position here and the direction will be uh, x y and z so negative y so it's gonna shoot the ray down here and to get the location from that we sample property we sample the from the geometry here uh, the data the value here is gonna be a math float and we're gonna plug that in there and if it doesn't work it's because uh, it give an array at, we only have to fan in so it uh, translated to an array node so now we should have this work perfectly if we connect that here um, no I think we got an array here so because we only have one point we can just get array uh, uh, get from array because uh, we only have one one point in that array so we can say array uh, index 0 so it output only one uh, x y and z there we go so this is how it worked to get this locator flow out around the surface let's see if it's work if we play with this one yeah it follow even we, if we go here it follows and if we play with the geometry here let's see yes you see it follow the terrain so that's how it worked i hope you enjoy and uh, subscribe to my channel a uh, channel and uh, like and share and uh, hope, uh, leave a comment all right ciao